This is the Hanayama Cage Puzzle. Before we get started with anything, I need to give a shout out to Be Puzzled, who sent me this Hanayama Puzzle along with some other ones. This is a level 3 puzzle. It is fairly straightforward, and actually, on if I'm going to be honest, and I was sent this puzzle for an honest review, so let's get honest, I found that this puzzle was a little bit easier than I expected it to be. I only needed to use one side of this cage to be able to get the puzzle out. I thought with these intricate shapes and the holes in the ends, I might need to use those. I thought it might be a little bit more of a tight fit, but after solving it, I found that it actually can be solved in several different ways, only using one side of the cage which was surprising to me. It wasn't bad because I, some, when puzzles are easy to solve, I sometimes like them, but it was definitely a bit of a surprise. So I just wanted to give that out as my review. Now it's time to look at how to solve this puzzle. This puzzle is one, I've seen ones like it, where you've got um, a piece or pieces with sort of parts sticking out and they start out inside of a cage and you have to maneuver them around to get them out of the cage. I'm going to show you the solution for this uh, this puzzle but to do that I found the easiest way to explain it is to first take this out and show you this piece and kind of point out the things that you'll want to look for in this piece and then we'll see what it looks like when it's inside of there and then we will you know, go from there. So this piece has one side that's significantly shorter than the others. You can see that there. If you hold it this way, or this way, or this way, all the time, this one here is shorter. And when you take that shorter side, you look at the one that's straight across from it, and then look at the different edges here. You'll notice something different if you focus on this angle right here. So this one here is pretty similar to that angle right there. And then we come to this one. You can see that, that this one is kind of filled in almost between there. And that's the one we want to focus on. With For my purposes, I actually colored it blue just so that it was easier for me to keep track of it and maybe for you to keep track of it as you're watching this video. But I'm going to basically, you can solve the entire puzzle while still holding that edge if you can find it. So you want to be able to find that one. It's, look at the one that's short, go across from it and find the one that's filled in in between. There's only one of them that will look like it's filled in like that. So that's the first step. And while it's inside the puzzle, this might be a little bit more challenging to find, but at least you know what you're looking for now. As far as the cage itself goes, the easiest way i found to, to solve it is to ignore all other sides except for this one. And the way I look at that one is, if you find the Hanayama word stamped there, Hanayama, Look for the side that has the A next to the cage. It's labeled cage. The other side is also labeled cage, but it does not line up with the word Hanayama at all. So that's the way that I found easiest to remember. It's also a slightly different shape than that. Here we go. This is, I'm going to show you the solution in reverse. Again, you're holding on to that one side I told you before. And this is how you solve it. You get the short end up, you'll put that into the cage, put the bottom corner here in, and what you should be able to do, whoops, sorry, let's try that again, we've got the short edge over here, because what you should be able to do is rock that, that short piece into there as well. So my fingers are kind of in the way, short piece over here goes in, we put this bottom piece in, and then we can rock it so that the short piece goes in, 
we'll rotate it in this direction. I'm going to get my fingers out of the way, but you can rotate it around. That piece will then go in, and then the final piece will just slide right in. It's the same when you're taking it apart. If you can get that blue piece to this side that's the cage, all you need to do is get the small piece here. You'll bring first the bottom part out, and then you're going to rotate it, bring that piece out, and then rotate it some more, or the opposite direction, I'm sorry, and they'll all come out.